Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today we are doing a little craft organization, at least I am. And this is my new section, so I'm basically, I was going to do the whole craft room, but I thought, let's just really focus in on one section at a time, that way I don't get too overwhelmed. And I am all about repurposing and uh, using inexpensive items and vintage items so that's that's kind of my uh my theme i guess so i got the new shelf for my stamps so that's the new shelf and i will just get in there a little closer okay so here are my stamps and i love being able to see them i did have them in little boxes before where i couldn't see them and this is much nicer uh, this shelf I like because the, the, I don't know, this must be like two and a half or three inches in between. And I like it better than the printer boxes because you just never know if your stamps are going to fit into the, the pre, you know, sized holes that are, you know, or squares, I should say, in those shelves. So. I really like this one. This was actually, uh, at, of course, everything I get is pretty much at the thrift store, but this was, you put like a, it was for displaying golf balls. So the whole thing all along here has these little, these little holes and you put like a golf tee in there and put a golf ball display. So that's what those are. Yeah. So yeah. At any rate. Yeah. So here's that shelf. And then, uh, as you go up, I guess we'll go up and then we'll go down. So I've got a couple of odd ones that didn't really fit on my shelf. And oh, at the bottom, I should tell you this, at the bottom shelf, then I put my really big ones just laid flat. So that worked out really well. So all of my big giant stamps are there. And I do have some favorite stamps that I keep on my desk, so they're going to be a little bit separate. My goal for this is to get everything, you know, all of my stamps in one place, all of my ink pads in one place, all of my, you know, like, and I just, I, I tried a different kind of uh, organization and it wasn't working because I was like, oh, I don't know which section I put that in, so... That was no good. At any rate, this, I have three that I keep on my desk. It's my flowers, uh, and those are all flat ones, so they didn't really go on the shelf anyway. Uh, my vines and stems, which I use a lot, and the one that I just dropped on the floor. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Is just some random flat stamps that I that I like that are really good for junk journaling. And I'm gonna show you too that, I feel like my light's not on all the way, it is, okay. So, and I have kind of organized these a little bit. So my antique uh, ones over on the left, I've got some people here, I've got animals and insects, I've got my labels and my decoratives over here. And then on this side is all birds, plants, trees leaves that sort of thing so there's a little bit of organization there i tried to put like things but they're all pretty random and i also did streamline my stamps so that they're all they all pretty much go along with the junk journal theme so i've got those i've got this cute little mushroom stamp it's a pig stamp how cute is that all right uh let's see what else i'm just gonna go down i guess because then i'll do i'll be doing all the stamps so all the rest of the stamps are down below um my main table that i'm using is was my grandma's uh sewing table so there is a sewing machine in there and i i i think i inherited that in like around 2003 or something like that and Never used the machine, but it's an old vintage machine, and uh, one of these days I'll probably take it out, but at any rate, okay, now let's go down. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right, that's a little going down music. <laughs> All right, so I've got these two bins in here. 
I have all of my stamps that are related to, that just have text on them or for cards or things like that, or letters, stuff like that. So I've got those, oh, I didn't wanna put that back. Okay, and then I've got this bin. I have wooden bits also in here. So like I use for building like fairy houses and things like that, but whatever. Okay, so this is what I really wanted to show you. This is this was also my same grandma's. She was a teacher and she got this as a gift. I can't take it out, but uh, yeah, it, it's called um, the classroom printer. You can look it up online. They have some for sale on eBay. But uh, yeah, so I, you can't see in the back, but there's image stamps that go way back there. And she got that as a, a gift when she graduated as a teacher in like 1933 so I'm really I don't think she ever used it she used it she must have used it for a little while and then just put it away for like 50 years and now I have it and I have been using it so I'm pretty excited about that uh it's got some really neat vintage stamps in it that are just perfect for junk journaling and okay so pulling this out uh, this is just a miscellaneous. So these are all the kind of stamps that I don't really love. And, you know, if someone comes over to craft and they're just playing around, I'll give them the spin and they can just go to town. And I won't worry about the, the stamps and inks and stuff like that. Okay, so backing up, uh, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Going up, this is uh, some other craft related. This is a a shelf I got, it was like five bucks, and I thought it was so pretty. But to be honest with you, it isn't super great for what I intended it, which was my jars of little bits and pieces. So the, I've got, let's say I've got uh, hmm, tiles and pebbles, and I've got game pieces and dice and then more like rocks and flat marbles and stuff like that. Um, if we go all the way to the top, then I have more miscellaneous uh, items, puzzle pieces, vintage marbles up there. And so those are displayed. Uh, on the left, I have more of my wooden bits for building like fairy houses. And there's wooden uh, label, like, uh, just like labels so if I want to create like a wooden label I have little wooden pieces in there too so um yeah those are and I those were like Christmas uh they were like snowflake boxes and I recovered them with some vintage paper so this was I my mom gave me the box and I thought it was like uh, just one box and I was super excited to find out it was like that many boxes so there's five boxes and yeah it was like the snowflake stuff and uh, that wasn't really my style so yeah I recovered them and added a little paint the copper color and yeah they look they came out really cool so I'm I love that uh, what else oh I've got some some tape here that I store. This is like a candelabra uh, little decorative thing. I don't think I ever painted that. I think that's how that one came. And then I just have some some of my tape on there. Uh, I guess I could tell you about this as well. Uh, yeah, this is just a piece of belt and I keep it to store some of my uh, charms and tangles. Dang, <laughs> tangles my spine dangles oh there's a terrible shadow but yeah so i could just hang them from there and it looks kind of pretty and i can see which ones i have so i don't i'm not always good about hanging them up there but you know if i need one i know where it is all right so this is my plan i'm going to be doing this redoing my craft room section by section so i had I want to do this a while back, but I got sidelined with my neck surgery. So now I'm back on it, but I decided this is a much better way to just kind of break it up into parts. So there's going to be more of these videos on different sections of my craft room. And also, I guess I have a guest. I have another room <laughs> that has crafts in it too. Uh, yeah, busted, busted. All right. So I have a lot of crafts place and 
so I think I'll just do section by, section by section. So expect to see more of these organization videos and the different items that I use uh, to organize my stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. And as always, thanks for coming along and I will talk to you later.